Let's face it. You suck at Smash Brothers. You're going to these locals, spending money to be there just to get your ass beat by a bunch of nerds while filling their pockets. And you're sitting there wondering, damn, maybe I'm not built for this. Or maybe you're not going to locals. Maybe you're going to your aunt's house for Thanksgiving and as they prepare the food, you're sitting there playing your cousins on a Nintendo Switch and you're still losing. When will it end? Now they're making fun of you at the dinner table. They take away your turkey leg and say, uh, 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 winner, winner, chicken dinner. And now you're starving because only winners can feast at the Thanksgiving table and you're a loser. Well, what if you're tired of losing? You want to get better. You want the train. Kick their butts and get all the turkey legs at the dinner table. Well, you've come to the right place. In today's video, I'm going to be going over the top mistakes players are making, what you can do to get better, and all this information will be coming to you free. No need to pay money for coaching or Metify lessons. You can still send me money if you want though. All I ask is that you like the video and enjoy the show. But first, Thanks to Raycon for sponsoring this video. Summer's just around the corner and the sun is shining, which means us gamers need to stay indoors where the AC is nice and cozy. Or maybe not. Maybe you want to go out there and see the world. Embrace the texture of that green substance we've heard about. Well, nothing makes going on new adventures more exciting than having background music follow you along. And I need a new pair of earbuds for that. Thankfully, Raycon has my back. They've just launched a new upgrade to the everyday earbuds. And let me tell you, these really do make a perfect fit for everyday tasks. You can use it at the gym when you're getting ready for that shredded summer body. Or indoors when you want to relax and play some games. I mean, that's what most of us will be doing this summer anyways. These wireless earbuds come at half the price of other premium earbuds, but the quality is just as good. The ergonomic earbud shape fits perfectly in any ear, and its optimized gel tips make them the most comfortable earbuds I've ever felt. They come in four vibrant colors, mine are blue, just like my favorite hedgehog, and stylish protective cases that you can choose to complement your buds. And thanks to Raycon, they are offering you guys a great deal. Just go to the link in the description below or go to buyraycon.com slash year to slow and get 20% off your Raycon purchase along with free shipping. Thanks again to Raycon for supporting the channel. Now. First things first, you need to recognize that you suck, your bony cheeks at Smash Brothers. Feel ashamed for all the time you've spent practicing and playing the game, just to still be bad. Let your inner rage consume you. Tell yourself, no more, I need to change. You want to make sure that when you go to sleep tonight, you could beat the version of you that woke up this morning. You need that grind set, mindset. Are you motivated yet? Good, let's get started. Step one, obsess. Do you want to get better? No, really, ask yourself, do you want to get better? Not just, oh man, it'd be real nice if I could beat Timmy from my local right about now. No, you gotta think, I need to win this tournament. You gotta be passionate. You need the fire to drive you towards a goal. Improving is not for the weak. It's for those that are passionate enough and are willing to put in the hours and the grinding to get there. You gotta be obsessed with it. You gotta tell yourself that there is nothing else to life than getting better at Smash. You gotta want it badly. You gotta have that passion to motivate you to put in the work. So once you have that fire, you know you're ready. Step two, matchups. You gotta take the time to learn the matchups. Yes, that means you're gonna have to sit down and play against Sans Undertale for a couple of hours. You're gonna have to play against Sonic, Min Min, Kazuya, even Luigi. If this doesn't sound exciting to you, then I got some news for you, pal. You chose the game. You're going to have to learn to deal with these matchups, and if you don't like that, you're playing the wrong game. If there's a matchup that annoys you, you're gonna have to learn to love it. You're gonna have to trick your mind into wanting to play that matchup because that's the only way you're going to learn how to deal with it. For me personally, I hate Snake. This is the stupidest character in Smash history. Why is it that every time I play against him, I feel like I'm in a sudden death match? There's just explosions everywhere. You can literally take damage for hitting him. That's the stupidest thing ever. But you know what? I'm gonna have to put all of those thoughts aside because I'm never gonna get better by just complaining about the matchup. Trust me, that doesn't work. If I'm gonna get better at this matchup, I'm gonna have to learn to love it. I'm gonna have to be obsessed with it. I'm gonna have to hit up every snake man on earth and beg them to play me. I'm gonna be in their DMs begging until I'm playing this matchup over and over and over until I'm numb to it. I gotta become so experienced in this matchup that I know all of his options from option A to B to C all the way through Z. Only then will I truly be comfortable in this matchup. And if you have matchups that are bothering you, you're gonna have to suck it up and learn those matchups because only then will you truly be prepared to win. Winning a match is all about being more prepared than your opponent. And that's why Japan has such an edge over every other region in the world because Japan loves learning matchups. They will compete in tournaments with no prize pool so they can play against Piranha Plant and Banjo. They don't care. They just want to play the game and learn. That's why when foreigners travel to Japan, they get completely shredded in bracket. And 
one of the most recent Japanese majors, not a single international player was able to make it into top 8. They were too busy losing to Banjo and Toon Link. A lot of regions, especially America, have a really bad habit of only practicing the same matchups. They don't want to explore other matchups. They will deliberately avoid playing against certain characters because they just don't like it. You don't want to be the one to make that mistake. You need to go on Elite Smash right now and play until you lose against somebody. And whoever you lost against, that's your next lesson. If you lost to Yoshi, well guess what? That's now your favorite matchup for the day. Look up the Yoshi Discord and ping every single Yoshi main on Earth until one of them plays you. And just play that matchup over and over and over until you feel like you can beat every single Yoshi main in the world. Knowledge is power. And the more matchups that you know, the more knowledge that you have. Tip number three, take notes. Now there's two parts to the strategy. You want to take notes literally, where you're putting notes on a piece of paper or typing on your phone. And the other part is that you want to take notes mentally. Now here's what I mean by this. Whenever you're playing a match, you want to constantly tell yourself what's going on. If you're playing against someone in person, you want to do this in your head, but if you're playing online, you might want to say out loud whatever is going on in the match. You want to give yourself commentary. What's going on in the match? What options are they choosing? What options are you choosing? You want to tell yourself these things so that it's echoing in your head. This will make you better at recognizing patterns and punishing habits. Tip number four. Play online. I know playing Smash Online is a fate worse than prison, but trust me when I say this. Playing online is a cheat code to gaining experience and getting better. Tip number five, use training mode. You want to get the most out of your conversions. Make your advantage state broken. You got Kazuya, Game & Watch, Rob, Steve, even Luigi. All these easy bait characters that are killing you off one interaction. You gotta be on that level. Lab your character. Learn the broken stuff. Figure out how to get the most bang for your buck out of every neutral win. Make sure that all of your neutral wins lead into big damage and are forcing your opponents into difficult situations where you can further extend your punish. That's the difference between having to win neutral a hundred times to take a stock and having to win neutral only a few times to take a stock. Every neutral win has to count, but that's gonna be it for today. Don't forget to like the video and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace.